hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing something a little bit different we're going to be using a beauty blender to do my whole makeup look so no brushes just one beauty blender i've done a video like this before like four years ago when i forgot my brushes at home and i went to my friend's house and i just had to make do with my beauty blender but then i'll put a picture here i had wedges and i had little beauty blender that i used along with the big beauty blender but this time around i want to challenge myself to using one beauty blender to do a full face of makeup let's see how it goes hopefully i'm able to do this so starting with my brows hopefully i don't get tempted to use a brush so i'm just using this to show you guys just in case you happen to forget your brushes somewhere and you need to do your makeup urgently you can come back to this video and just follow my steps hopefully i get it till the end <laughs> i normally would not highlight if i was in that situation but for the sake of this challenge i'm going to highlight using my beauty blender going in with the two faced bond this way concealer this is in mocha so i think then what i did was i just used the tip of the um concealer then i was using pro conceal i just highlighted it and then i blended it out but for the sake of this video let's try it out using our beauty blender The key is to hold it tight together. Majorly highlight your brow bone because you don't want to be doing all that highlighting because you really don't have the resources for that. Woo! I did the first stage, guys. Okay, now I'm pumped. Next, we're going into the eyeshadow. I'm using my concealer as an eyeshadow base oh sorry i forgot i'm supposed to use this <laughs> i'm just gonna dab that in right there Woo! now to the top part eyeshadow starting with the julia's place bronzer just gonna be using that as my transition shade wait for me to the hard part Oh, it's not bad. Oh, I never knew a beauty blender could do this. Okay. I'm just pressing my beauty blender together so it just gets into the eye. Because I'm going in with the darker shade. <laughs> I feel pumped. I'm just going to be trying out more stuff. So I'm just going to go in with the tip. Just the tip. just to intensify that outer color I'm just going to use this other side buff it out now for the inner part i'm not going to be doing much because i do not have that liberty to do much did i use a shimmery or not i usually would have used my hand for this part just dab it on i think that's what i did but for the sake of this video i'm just gonna use this Ooh, not bad done with the shadow guys how did that blend in it blended in well i guess i'll be using the mabrook eyeliner now that lashes is done i'm going into skin this is where the main work is i'm going in with the Maybelline foundation Next, I'm going in with the Bondi Sway Concealer in Mocha. This is actually going well. It's not going as bad as I thought it would. Then I'm going in with Bondi Sway Concealer in Taffy just to brighten up my eye a bit. We're going to leave that down to dry up and use the rest why i let that dry and i'm going to be contouring with my mac concealer i'm going to be using this shade and this part of my brush just the ends i 
I'm just gonna go ahead and blend. I'm going to be baking using the Messier in honey. Contouring using my Juvia Space Bronzer. That's in. I'm just gonna use my translucent powder all over my face. Just push it off. So sets my entire face. Our lips. That should not be hard. I'll just use my lipstick to do that. Now I just have to blend out this powder. Just going to press it in. You guys, I cannot actually believe I just did this. But this just made me realize you actually don't need a brush for anything. It's just serenity. Like legit. I'm using my Charlotte powder to brighten my under eye. Just start that. I think I like my makeup better with my beauty blender. So it just sits in. It just feels like I'm setting my whole face and not doing too much with the powder product. Oh my goodness, you guys. Just one beauty blender. A blush. Just using the same contour ends. The key to this thing is just I'm trying to figure out the parts of your blender to use and the parts not to use so like positioning your beauty blender well when using same essential cheek glaze same blush part and and we have come to the end of this video you guys can you imagine that i used just one beauty blender all sides to do this makeup look so in the end you really do not need brushes you can make do without those brushes if you think you could not make do without those brushes before watch this video maybe you should try it out too now you know it's possible to use one beauty blender and you don't have to buy all that brush actually the difference between this and a brush i using a brush is okay maybe for the eyeshadow brushes are more precise but for the skin work i think i actually even prefer the blender because the blender is already damp so it's soaking in product and when, once you apply those products on your skin it's just sitting into your face naturally whereas when you use a brush and you just put like a powder on the brush and just powder it, it just stays on your face but the beauty blender sets it into your skin and the makeup just looks skin like so it might just even be better to use a blender to be honest for your skin work than a brush for anyone you prefer anyway the look turned out bomb guys I did not fail so yeah it's a 10 actually the 10 like thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video